Hey ladies and gents, this is Izdwiz coming at you from PowerLordsReturn.com with the review for, of Vorgus Vermilius the Blood Armor. This is the fan's choice figure from the Four Horsemen's last Kickstarter and it's being mailed out to all the Kickstarter supporters right now. Uh, people have had a chance to go to the store and order them if they didn't get a chance to support the Kickstarter the first time around, but they are going fast. So if you're interested in picking up Vorgus Vermilius, the blood armor, make sure you do it. This is a very special figure for a number of reasons. Um, it, the fans voted on every aspect of his armor. Uh, and so everywhere along the way, um, the cape, the armor, the weapons, the helmet, uh, fans decided, and it was quite the campaign. I mean, Trump versus Hillary, that's nothing. Bernie versus Hillary, that's nothing. If you go back to the uh, fantastic exclusive forums, you'll find that this guy had passionate supporters for him, and he, uh, he had a bunch of other people that uh, were passionately supporting other versions. He could have been green. He could have been turquoise. But he ended up being the blood knight, blood colored. And the Four Horsemen did such a great job. Uh, the armor literally looks like it's covered with crusty, dried blood. And uh, it's, it's, it's very, very special character because of it. When I touch it, I literally expect it to feel tacky because of, you know, it just looks like dried blood. So they captured that very, very well. Um, one of the things that um, I wanted to point out is that according to the prototype, the horns are supposed to go down like that. Uh, they were point they are always pointing up in the package because they didn't want uh, there to be package rub where the horns would rub up against the package. But I think he looks a lot better with his horns uh, down like that. Uh, another neat thing about this figure is that the fans came up with a name, Vorgus Vermilius. And Vorgus uh, meaning someone who eats or feasts on, and Vermilius uh, being a, a vampire creature uh, that, that obviously... Uh, subsists by uh, sucking the life out of uh, people. So Vorgus Vermilius was a name that was come up by a number of different fans in the for forum. Somebody made a suggestion, somebody else tweaked it. And so that was kind of neat that the Four Horsemen incorporated that into this figure. Um, it's a very, very neat bio as well. It talks about the fact that this is an empty suit of armor because it had a parasitic spell cast on it. So the knight that made a bargain with uh, the devil to get it ended up having the life sucked out of him. And now is just sort of undead and wandering around, uh, killing people right and left and taking their life force. So um, the sculpt, first of all, it... <laughs> The Four Horsemen have really knocked it out of the park with these figures. I mean, there's nothing else, I think, uh, other than the Four Horsemen's prior Kickstarter figures that can compare with it in terms of design and sculpt and execution and articulation. So um, it's, it, it's just amazing. Um, every aspect of it, every detail, everywhere. The cape is also nice as well. You can display it without the cape or with the cape. There are a number of different ways to display the cape over one shoulder, you know, or just the standard way. But I, I just think he looks magnificent uh, no matter how you, how you display him. I'm going to take the cape off here so you can see some of the other features in the back. Um, this is the back of the figure. And you can see every rivet, every line, every, you know, tiny bolt. Um, and it's all magnificently painted in, one, in, in that one color. And the figure really, really pops, even though it, it is only that one color. You can also remove 
the um, shoulder armor if you'd like. Um, I'm not sure why you do that, but you can mix and match it with other figures if you'd like. I'm not sure why you do that either because I think pretty much this design as voted on by the fans um, just really can't be improved on. It's a very, very special figure. Um, and, uh, you know, there's nothing that I can see that can be improved on by mixing and matching parts with with the other figures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably take him and pose him on this old stand that I got from McFarlane, which is just a bunch of, of bloody, uh, bloody heads. So I think he'll look really, really great with that. He stands great. The articulation is everything you would expect from a hyper-articulated figure. All the joints are nice and tight. There's great range of motion everywhere. Um, and uh, the weapons are very nice either, uh, very nice as well. They're color coordinated with the armor. So everything complements uh, everything else very, very well. You can take and make the single bladed axe a double bladed axe if you want. It comes with that accessory. It also comes with a, um, it also comes with a, a spear as well as the sword. So he is completely uh, loaded for a bear here and ready to take on all comers. I'm going to read the bio for you as you look at the figure because I think it's a very cool bio and it just uh, tells a lot about the character. It's, his name's Vorgus Vermilius, the blood armor. It says, one of the first to receive Ilithia's gift of eternal life as a vampire the brutal knight Lord Edgard became one of the first generals of Ilithia's brood. As centuries passed and the tedium of immortality set in, Lord Edgard was no longer satisfied with the vast, vast powers bequeathed to him as a vampire. Edgard's ambition drove him to seek out the dark sorcerers Azhar and Zazhar and strike a deal to obtain more power. He bartered the lives of 100 of his men to the agent of Poxus for an enchanted suit of armor that possessed immense power and near invulnerability. What Edgard was, did not know was that he had been trip, tricked into wearing a suit of armor infused with a parasitic spell that slowly consumed his life force, causing him to vanish from inside the armor, the blood armor known to the people as Vorgus Vermilius now roams from victim to victim, leaving behind only the memory of the warriors it devours. Cool, huh? So he's a vampire. He's sort of an undead zombie vampire. And uh, the armor is kind of a hollowed out shell that just goes around destroying everything in his path. One of my favorite uh, characters, I think, um, not only because it was chosen by the fans and I got to participate in that process and it was a lot of fun, but because I think it just came out magnificently and uh, I hope uh, you do too. There's still a few up on Store Horsemen, so take a look if you're interested because they won't be there long. Is the signing off from PowerLordsReturn.com.